Pareo is our mother and guardian. She shelters us from the prevailing winds from the south and bends the swell into our shores. Kareo is the mountain of Whaingaroa. When the Tainui Waka first arrived, they saw the Maunga and said, this will be our resting place. Go when mountains walked, Karioi would wander near and far collecting and telling stories. One day she came home to find her husband, Karewa, was in love with her sister, Parongia. Karioi was furious and heartbroken. Karioi threw Parongia inland and banished her to live in Hamilton for eternity. Karioi then ordered Karewa to walk into the sea and never look back. As Karewa limped out into the wild Tasman, he could not resist to have one last look at all he had lost, and in that instant, he turned to stone, forever fated to stand as a lonely island and to weather the fiercest storms. The town is sleeping on the moment with Karewa. Each of us witnessed the dream states of the subconscious, viewing the world through the depths of lidded eyes. Today we journey into our world, through open ones. Said he was a wicked man. 
Kareo was devastated beyond understanding. Her heart ignited and she cried tears of fire and molten rock that flowed down her body and froze in the cold sea, creating rivers and canyons of basalt and gleaming andesite crystal under the ocean. When the wild western water rages and the swells march up the coast, Kareo and her tears channel and organise the chaos into perfect symmetry, giving shape to the long left walls that flow around her feet. Got the black dog to the gate 